Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about Miro and how we can use it for team collaboration. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. So let's start. Hey guys, in this lesson we are going to talk about Miro tool. Miro is a collaborative online whiteboard platform designed for remote and distributed teams. Nowadays many of us working from home and this tool become my number one for collaboration. That's why I would like to go through and explain you guys how to use it. So with Miro, we can easily run agile testing cycles. Uh, we can organize retrospective meetings. We can organize uh, whiteboard meetings and much more. It's an amazing tool, especially if you are working from home. It makes our life much easier to collaborate with other team members. So let's see how Miro works and how we can use it. Please now open any browser and direct to miro.com. So basically you can use Miro for ideation, brainstorming, research and design, agile workflows, strategy and planning, mapping and diagrams. Because of the commit, I continuously work from home. That's why this tool become my number one. So let's sign up and see how it works. Click sign up for free. Just type your name and password. We will receive an email with six digit code. And after that, we can set up our team. All right, first let's check how Miro works. This is Miro. This is our space. We can think it as a whiteboard. We can put here anything we want. It can be any picture from internet, any kind of videos, and also we can use their template to work on them. And once we share it with our colleagues, everybody can reach this whiteboard at the same time and can work on it at the same time. So first, let's see their templates. On the left-hand side, click Templates. Here, you search Kanban and Edit. So for this project, in our whiteboard, we added a Kanban board, which is similar to the software development lifecycle flows. Here, as we can see, we have our backlog items, which our team will work on it. We have in progress and done. Basically, this is a very small development lifecycle. We can make it larger. And if you want, we can add more steps here. So click three dot, add column. Let's say this can be done. And I will change it to testing in progress. So now we have our backlog items, in progress items, testing in progress, which means when we will work, we will put the item here and done, which means the testing is done. So on the backlog, we can have multiple items. For example, if you find a bug, you can just uh, report the bug here. If you click on extend, you can even write a description. As you can see, we create our first item. Similar to that, you can even add any kind of tasks And here you can add more tasks by adding new card. And even you can split it into two teams or more. Also on these cards, you can add labels. For example, let's say this will be backend work. So I take it as a backend work, which means one of our backend engineer will work on it. So this is a bug. Basically, if you're a small team, you can easily handle your project lifecycle by using this template. Once you are working on it, it can go to in progress. You can just drag and drop it. Uh, when it's testing, you can put it in testing. And afterwards, the last step is done. As you can see, that is really simple. Yeah, I use this part mostly if my company has a hackathon. And my hackathon team use this part to collaborate because we have a short time and it's really easy to use it. Let's see some other templates too. So I'm just zooming out. I click templates and this time let's check retrospective. I click add. Here, as you can see, this is the same board. I can add multiple templates. If I want, I can add multiple Kanban boards, multiple retrospective boards and much more. So this one too, I will make it larger. Retrospective meetings are part of Scrum framework and as a team, we have this meeting end of every sprint. 
For me, it is end of every two weeks. So in this meeting, we are continuously talking with the team what we can do better. So this template is really useful for me to organize and kick off that meeting. I just create this board, I share it with my team, and everybody can see it. So when you're in the retrospective meeting, you can simply click on a note and just write whatever you want. If you want, on the left-hand menu, you can click on sticky notes, select any color you want, and just add more cards. So it helps teams to collaborate easily. Let's see another template. If you check the template list, they have tens of templates, which is really useful. For example, we can add mind map or user story mapping. Let's try the mind map. Here, you can see that we add mind map. Mind maps are really useful for testers to basically the figure out what we are going to test. I personally use mind maps before I start testing. You can even use them instead of test cases. You can just create mind maps. For example, I can say, this is my banking application. In this banking application, I can apply for credits, open account. Under apply credits, I, sh I can have new credits option. Can be application. So I think you understand the idea. It is really easy to add any kind of framework and basically work on it. Personally, I also like to make it fun. You can add any kind of pictures or any kind of video, anything you want on this board. Like you can add cat pictures if you like it to make it more fun for your team or any uh, educational videos from YouTube. Basically, it's really simple. At the end, if you would like to share any part of the sport with your manager or stakeholder, you can easily click on the left side, frame, custom frame, just add a frame on which part you want to save. So I add on this Kanban board, I will name it Project Kanban board. And here, you can export this board as a PDF. As you can see, we export our board as PDF. You can share this with your stakeholders or with your boss or whoever you want. That's it for now. Miro became my favorite tool because I continuously work from home. I collaborate with my team using Miro and uh, mostly we run our retrospective and sometimes we create Kanban boards and uh, whiteboard meetings. I hope it will make your lives easier. Thank you very much for watching and see you at the next tutorial.